I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait, that's all fat, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome video here. I'm Christina, aka That Variety Nerd, and today, holy crap, everybody, we have made it to the finale of good old WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. Y'all, it's been a roller coaster. It has been a whirlwind of events, to say the least. It's been a treat. It's been a mess at times, but it's been an overall incredible journey with y'all. But yeah, basically, we I feel like, you know, finishing out with the women here in SummerSlam, I think it's kind of fitting, you know, that sort of thing. I feel like that adds up, ultimately, right? Because we've got NXT General Manager Christina Bennett here tonight, taking on our pal, our confidant, Ronda Rousey, here tonight, um, in a last woman standing match. Uh, these two have had some bad blood for a little bit. Ronda, of course, attacking the NXT general manager and well Christina Bennett tried to get a bit of a leverage or a bit of a heads up if you will on Ronda over on Smackdown in well the go home episode as we saw but here we are y'all here we are yeah look at her all waving to the fans and crap I mean really like Ronda seriously you attack the general manager did, did, did the GM take a heel turn and we didn't know about it? Because, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I mean, she had she had her reasons for doing things. It's, you know, maybe more of a tweener type of character. I don't know, but here we are, kids. Y'all, this has been a wild journey, to say the least. I think they've turned on the general manager, to say the least. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We had a heel turn that we didn't quite expect. Or was it a heel turn? We don't know. Maybe maybe it's a Ronda crowd, who knows? But either way around, this can be if I sound a little bit tired, a little bit fatigued, we've been filming like literally since seven o'clock, I think. And it's like nine thirty. <laughs> These episodes as you've seen have been a little longer than expected, but I had a, like I knew they were gonna be a little bit longer than expected, but holy crap, y'all. I think it's also because I did a lot of stuff today. I did a lot of walking today because, dude, it was so nice out. I'm not going to be sitting inside all day and, like, you know, not enjoying the weather and that sort of thing. But Rana's going right for Christina Bennett here. This might, this might end sooner than expected. We don't know. But if there's one thing we've learned about the NXT general manager, Christina Bennett, it's that, you know, she does not go down that easily. It's funny because our first 2K22 video was on the My Rise series, right? And well, we had Christina Bennett as our main character, and she had to, she was forced into retirement from our pal Nia Jax, and so these two have never squared off in a ring together until right now. But the board of directors issued a last moment standing match so they could iron out their differences, and I don't know if that's going to be enough to put away Ronda, but. But the GM's got her work cut out for her because it's it's Ronda Rousey after all. Each woman has a ten count, and if they cannot reach it, if they can't make it up by the ten count, then well the opponent wins the match. That's how these things work. And here we go, Christina Bennett now. Huge back suplex onto Ronda Rousey right here. Normally I'd be playing the match, but like it's the last episode and we need to reflect and not like 
be as crazy distracted. But Christina Bennett, a true leader here on Universe Mode, right? She, well, we started everything, like, over on my GM, and that kind of trickled into what we now have as Universe Mode. But you don't need to have any sort of knowledge into the my GM. Like, you don't have to watch my GM to know what all happened in Universe Mode or have that background info. It just sort of was a transition series into Universe Mode. So that's always a fun time, right? Right. Um, Christina Bennett, what is she up to? She's got her over the top rope right there. Over the top rope and right into Ronda Rousey on the outside of the ring. The referee's got to go check up on everybody outside the ring. They've got to follow Rousey and Bennett outside the ring. Then what a matchup we've already had so far, and we're not even that far into the match. Rhonda, you don't need to bring her back inside the ring. It's it's a last woman standing match. What are we doing? You could have just left her outside the ring. What are we trying to accomplish here? Oh, and Ronda Rousey. Going right for the legs. Oh, boy. Alright, I guess we're kind of back into the ring, kind of not back out of the ring. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, I guess Ronda's standing inside the ring and not wanting to be bothered with the NXT general manager, but okay. Even though she technically threw the first strike first and then this whole mess first started, but here we are, kids. Here we are. We're at a seven count here. We're at eight count and Christina Bennett is back up onto her feet. She's, she's giving Ronda a run for her money. We'll, we'll at least leave it at that, but holy crap. Can Christina Bennett overcome the odds and beat Ronda Rousey? We don't know. We're going to have to see, but a huge running bulldog right there from the NXT GM to Ronda Rousey as Rousey is now being counted out. Okay, well, the count got interrupted by, well, Christina Bennett herself. Not sure how much of a wise decision that was, but... Here we are, y'all. Oh boy, Christina better now. We're gonna see if Rhonda stays down for the count of 10. We're at a four count. I always feel awkward calling these things because it's like you gotta wait a few seconds, but here we are. We're at a six count right here. Can this be enough to put away Ronda Rousey? Ronda was starting to get back up with the seven count, I think. Christina Bennett connects right there. <laughs> I love how she started running but caught herself. It's like she knows me in real life. Like, we always get on everybody's butt for, like, doing all the running stuff because they, we know that it's going to get frozen. But here we are. There she goes again. We're at a six count right here. We're at a seven count. Could this be enough to put away Rhonda right here? Oh, and Rhonda got back up at nine. Oh, and Rhonda with the interesting arm takedown right there on Christina Bennett. Oh, and Rhonda. She was trying to go, I think, for that arm bar, possibly. She was trying to go for an arm move. But Christina Bennett blocks it right there. No, I think the, she was trying to go for, like, maybe Piper's Pit. I don't know. She was going for something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, Rhonda might have it here, y'all. Oh, no. She's got the arm bar locked in. She's got the arm bar locked in, but you can only win by the 10 count. Oh, God. Look at that limb damage right there. Just being drained. And the health meter, for that matter, too. Oh, but Bennett breaks out. Bennett breaks out. Bennett, fight, Bennett fights through. Don't worry, y'all. We got the water over here. We're all good. I need to refill the water the water cooler while we're at it, but that may be a thing for tomorrow. We'll have to see. Thankfully for me, I only have to fill it up with, like maybe two to three times a week from what I've noticed, but that's because we go, we go through a lot of water in this household, okay? Four. 
Oh boy. Got a six count right here. Girl, you stay in that ring. We're an eight count and Ron is back up on her foot. But Christina Bennett was like, I'm out I'm on the outside of the ring now. And Rhonda brought her back inside the ring. What, why, what is the difference? Like, it's the same rules. And Rhonda broke up the count right there, going right for the legs of Christina Bennett here tonight. Bennett with the counter. Rhonda's chilling. But Bennett kind of realized that she might not be able to get the count. Oh, she might have it here. The DDT connects right there on Rhonda Rousey. Bennett realizing that she might have another opening here. Oh, Rhonda with the punch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bennett might have cost her the match right there. Ron's got the armbar locked in once again, but a tap out is not going to be warranted. It's not going to count here because you got to get up at the count of ten, or by the count of ten. Could a second armbar be enough to put away Christina Bennett right here? Rhonda, you dummy, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're breaking up the count. You've... I thought she had the win right there. Rhonda, Jesus, what are we doing? Look, it's the last episode. I'm allowed to start calling people out on crap in the game. Because we, we've made fun out of this kind of stuff before. So, I mean, it's not, you know, out of character, but come on. And Bennett is really taking it to Ronda Rousey. Or she might, I think she might have a chance here tonight. Shoot, Ronda Rousey is like overall like 93 and Christina Bennett is like 79. So, I mean, there's a huge deficit there. Oh my god, oh my god. Y'all, this has been a match. This has been something else, y'all. This has been next level stuff. Huge back suplex from Ronda to Bennett right there. Y'all, look at their limb damage. Holy crap. It's like Ronda's got the red torso, but Bennett's got red, like, arms and head. And then it's like Ronda's got the orange in the, in the uh, head and in the arms right there. Oh my god, why do they keep interrupting the count? I just, I can't. I'd want to just catch my breath for a few seconds, you know? Okay, this is why I'm on the couch, you know? Yo, I don't know how much longer either one of these two can go, but they're still, they're still fighting. They're still fighting. Ronda now showboating at the count of four. We're at the count of five right here. Six. Bennett's moving her fingers, so I guess that might be worth noting, right? Trying to get some feeling in their hands right there. Nine. All right, a nine count right here. And Ronda Rousey defeats Christina Bennett here tonight in a fairly anticlimactic way, but you know, Christina Bennett really laid it in on Ronda Rousey. Man, and we thought that we were going to have Christina Bennett pretty much go undefeated here in universe mode, but good old Ronda Rousey, the baddest woman on the planet, pulls out a huge... Well, look at how excited she is to win the match. But you know what, Christina Bennett, that doesn't discredit you from your efforts here tonight. And she put it as she took it to Ronda Rousey, y'all. She really took it to Ronda here tonight. But what a match, y'all. What a huge match with people. We got our big main event to get to coming up next. Asuka, Carmella, Becky Lynch for that NXT Women's title. So let's get to it, people. Let's get to it. All right, everyone, here we go. Main event time of the final episode of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, as you can see. Okay, fine. Fine. Not like we're in the only, well, the last match. See, mosque has got that money in the bank briefcase. This is her cash-in matchup, y'all. Here in the main event of SummerSlam, 
And I know what y'all are thinking, like, some of these other matches could very well have been the main event too, but I think this one has the star power, it's had the feuds, it's got the prestige, it's got a little bit of everything. Fan favorites, people that have really risen through the ranks here on Universe Mode. It's got a little bit of everything, I think, and I think that's why it encapsulates, you know, enough for us to leave it as, like, the main event main event. Of course, the outstanding feud that we've had for quite some time between Carmella and Asuka has been enough to really bring it home here. And of course, you got a title on the line, which makes it even better. But Carmella's been really, like, a huge mainstay here on Universe Mode, and we appreciate that. We appreciate you, Carmella. We appreciate you. And Asuka, too. We appreciate Asuka. And introducing the challenger from oh, look at us getting the timing right. That never happens. <laughs> but y'all, this women's division has been stacked from top to bottom. We, I think that's been the biggest, like, one of the strongest points. Of, we, we did a lot of things right, I think, here on Universe Mode this series. You know, we have room for improvement. We know what we need to do next series to get a little bit better and, you know, fine-tune things and that sort of thing. But it, it's like, Christina, you've had four series of Universe Modes. But I think that's the fun part. Like, each one's going to look different, right? It's like you have your anthology shows, right? Like, you know, an American Horror Story or whatever, right? Whereas, like, each series is going to look a little bit different. You might have some overlapping characters, but they're still going to be doing different things. Or, like, actors that play different characters and stuff like that. It's going to look different for each series. And that's the fun part to me about Universe Mode. You never know what's going to happen with each series. Just like we've got Becky Lynch making her way out to the ring right here as the NXT Women's Champion in the main event of SummerSlam here on night two of SummerSlam, but main event, main event. Welcome to the big time, everyone. Introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland. She is the NXT Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Y'all, we've really held back a lot of things for this Universe Mode series. I'm really glad that we held off on some stuff for 2K23, because again, I don't know if we're going to do my GM, if we're going to do Universe Mode. I feel like we're, we might have to pick a lane. I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens with all the developments as we head into my GM. I know we could have done my GM way better in hindsight, but at least we covered our ground, right? Right. But I have a feeling we're going to have... I, I want my GM to be a little bit longer and a little bit more in-depth this time around. That's kind of the goal here, but the goal is here for... Asuka, Carmella, and Becky Lynch, that goal is to win that NXT Women's Championship. Of course, all three of these women have made their case here to be in this matchup, and quite literally in Asuka's case, because she's won the Money in the Bank briefcase. This is her cash-in matchup, y'all. I didn't know how to do it, except, like, of course, you know, it could have been, like, a, you know, middle-of-the-match kind of thing, and she cashed in, but I felt like it might have had a little bit more weight to it if it was a cash-in. There's a feud, and, of course, Becky Lynch just being Becky Lynch. Right? You know, there's that star power with her and everything like that. So, it all added up into a huge main event that we've got here. But y'all, our women's division just crushed it this year. Like, when I think about some of the biggest matches and moments, a lot of the times they've been with the women's division. With a lot of our standout feuds. Like, anything involving the way. The way and, you know, Trish and Dewdrop and all that stuff. And we had, you know, pretty much, you know, Asuka and Io Shirai were in a team for a little bit together. We had Carmella and a bunch of little feuds, like with Kaylee Ray. Asuka and Kaylee Ray had some stuff there, too. We had a lot of different little feuds going on, and not all of them were for the title, and that made things interesting, you know? And Becky Lynch, of course, a fighting champion in her own right. We've got this feud really coming around full circle between Asuka and Carmella here, but the women have really... They really crushed it, this universe mode. And, you know, it's like they always, they really crush it on universe mode, but, like, this series in particular, they really crushed it. We had a lot of good developments, lots of good little stories. We had little teams get developed and kind of fall apart. It's been a good one with the women's division. So I think that's been one of the strongest points of our universe mode series this time around. Because we had... We had... We would... We would often have matches, like, we'd often have, like, shows, like, you know, our takeover events and stuff like that. Half the matches would be, like, women's division matches. So it's like, the women were always busy with something. Now, the Money in the Bank briefcase situations, we're going to fine-tune that quite a bit, because that was just getting exhausting. That was getting hard to keep track of, okay? 
So I think next time around, like, if somebody cashes in, we'll wait until, like, you know, the big four for something to happen. Oh, and Asuka going in for the cover now. And Becky Lynch breaks things up. Like, if somebody cashes in, say, like, you know, say September, October, something like that, then they would not have an opportunity at the Money in the Bank briefcase until Survivor Series. And then after that, like, say, if they cash in in February, right, like, we won't have one until WrestleMania. So I think the big four and Money in the Bank, I think, are going to be, like, when we have those briefcase matches. You know, to make them feel a little bit more special and, you know, to kind of buy us a little bit more time and that sort of thing. And to focus on other things and not just the briefcases. They do help elevate people, but, you know, you never know what could happen and Becky Lynch with the slam right there. So yeah, that's another room for improvement right there. Becky Lynch only going to get two count as Carmella kicks out right there. Becky Lynch going for the disarmer here tonight on Asuka. Could this be enough to put away Asuka and retain the title? Carmella breaks things up. Oh, and Carmella going up against Becky right here. This could be interesting, y'all. This could be very interesting. And Carmella now on the outside of the ring. Becky now going in for the cover on Asuka. Could this be enough to put away Asuka here tonight? The Asuka kicks out. And Asuka fighting through. What a huge moment right here for Asuka. Asuka's been scratching and clawing for this women's title ever since the very, like, really the first episodes. Because, I mean, the only title we really had going in from my GM into universe mode was really the, you know, main NXT title. Oh, and Asuka with the counter. Becky with the counter. Asuka with another counter right there. Those two always have good matches. Like, you know we're, we're in for something special when we get Becky versus Asuka. I hope we get another, I hope we get a, like, another little feud with them at some point. That'd be great. You know, because now the roles are kind of reversed almost. So. Oh, and a huge hair pull. Carmella now going right for Becky Lynch. Huge kick right there into another huge kick for Carmella. Becky Lynch with a clothesline. Asuka still outside the ring right here. Becky now. Carmella with the counter. Oh, and Carmella fighting back, getting in the offense. She's been really, like, one of the standouts. Especially in recent episodes, Carmella's been crushing it. Carmella's been having these really standout performances and, like many recent episodes, and that's all that it took, y'all. Huge kick right to Becky Lynch. Asuka breaks out and gets the pinfall right there. Oh, and that's what happened. Oh, boy. She's got she's got it locked in on Asuka. She's got the Asuka lock locked in on Asuka. Oh, my God. Imagine if she wins the title using Asuka's move. That'd be the most universe mode thing possible. Or at least close enough to it, I feel like. But Asuka breaks through, y'all. Takedown right there from Asuka to Carmella right there. Becky taking Asuka to the outside of the ring right there. Yeah. Becky Lynch with the fisherman suplex. And Carmella now going to the outside of the ring right here. And Becky also, well, drop kicking Asuka to the outside of the ring. What a main event we're watching here, y'all. What an episode that what a whole entire like finale. Like these last four episodes have been ridiculous. And hey, we're all, we're, we're going to be right on time getting done by 10 o'clock. That's always my goal, get done by 10 o'clock. So, I don't know if we're going to be editing all these down tonight. Probably not. It might be a tomorrow task. But rest assured, we're going to at least get that two-week break from filming after this, okay? We're at least going to be done. I, I don't mind doing the editing. It's just the filming that takes a little bit of time. Editing, not so much. But we'll have to see. we got a lot more video to, like, work with here. So there's that. Now we're back on the outside of the ring. My voice is going out. That ain't good. I need my water. Oh, boy. 
Huge stomp from Becky right there. I knew I had to kind of deliver and not be as, like, you know, as laid back as I normally am. Because, I mean, it's the finale, y'all. Like, it's the last episode. We're in the last match. There's no other way around it. You know, we want to make sure that we're doing this last episode justice. Because this whole series has been an absolute treat to, like, watch together since, like, this series has been going on since June. Yeah, I think it said June when I went to check. So this whole thing literally lasted, like, nine full months. Like, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, and into March. So, yeah, ten months almost. About right at ten months. And, you know, a lot's changed in the ten months, so that's always fun and exciting. Oh, we had a lot more changing and all that good stuff, so. But, I mean, that's always a positive, right? That's just how these things work, you know? The way that we do the- Oh, Carmella with the kick! Into the cover, into the cover. Carmella clearing house now. Carmella now going right for Becky Lynch right here. What is Carmella doing? Look at everybody's limb damage. Oh my god. The women are just beating the crap out of each other in this match. And in, like, this entire episode, if we're being real. Becky Lynch catching Carmella right here into the cover. Could this be enough to put away Carmella? And Carmella kicks out at one. Oh my god. Everybody is just, like... Leaving it all out there in the ring. Becky Lynch going in front of the Disarmor. Could this be enough to put away Carmella here tonight? Here in the final episode. Oh, and Asuka! Right at the very end. Didn't... Oh my god, look at how close Asuka got. Oh my god, that's gotta suck. Y'all, Becky Lynch pulls out a huge, narrow victory here tonight at SummerSlam in the main event, your last women's champion. So we close out Universe Mode with Ilya as the Intercontinental title holder, Street Profits as the tag title holders, Bailey and Baszler as your women's tag title holders, Shinsuke Nakamura as your NXT title champion, and of course Becky Lynch as your NXT women's champion. People, what a journey that this has been. Normally I'd say we'll see you all in the next one, but I mean, there's no other way around it. We're at the very last episode of 2K22 content. I never thought we would get to this point. Like, it feels like it was sort of like just yesterday we started filming all this stuff, but then, you know, we've taken breaks here and there because real life things happen. You know, I was, you know, knees deep in schoolwork. I was graduating and moving. Like, we had so much happen just in 2K22, and I'm just excited to see where the journey takes us into 2K23. And I'm excited to see what happens there. So, I mean, thank you all so, so much. It doesn't matter if you were here from episode number one or episode 100 or heck, even this episode, right? But, y'all, this has been quite a journey. And I'm so glad that we got to share this crazy journey, you know, in universe mode and YouTube and everything all together. This is going to be our second, third game you know, that we're going to be diving into, you know, from the get-go, essentially, here on the channel. I couldn't be more thrilled about it. I'm super excited for 2K23, and I hope you all are as well. It seems like it's going to, it seems like it's going to be a fun one with lots of little improvements along the way from what I've noticed so far. And I'm just really excited. So we're going to be starting out with the Women's My Rise, uh, because one, that's been requested, and two, we're going to do it anyway. As I mentioned before, we'll be right out of the gate on March 14th. It doesn't matter if it's 10, 11 o'clock at night, however late it is, we'll do it. So we'll have plenty of content for, you know, at least a week straight, that first full week of, you know, videos and that sort of thing. And we'll just see where we go from there. So, and thank you all super duper much for supporting the channel. This has been by far our most successful universe mode, I think, just based on the numbers and how many new people that we've had join, you know, you know, as subscribers and that sort of thing. The view count, the watch time. It's been arguably our best series, like our best universe mode so far, and we had a lot of fun along the way. We've had frustrating times, we've had fun times, we've had some emotional moments. We've had a little bit of everything, I think. So, again, let me know what y'all thought about this series as a whole down in the comments down below. Let me know what you loved, and you know, some of your favorite moments, some of your favorite feuds, all that good stuff, you know, to kind of look back on everything, and we will see you all in 2K23. So, 
Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all over on 2K23.